Hey, Bishop Barron, how are you feeling? It's a pretty I big weekend. I feel good. Good to be here. Great. We have some quick questions for you. Yeah. What are your first impressions of Rochester? I love it. I was here for the um, announcement, you know, about a month ago, but I had a chance the last couple of days to really go around the downtown. It's lovely. And the Mayo Clinic, I mean, there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. So uh, I've been massively impressed by Rochester. Beautiful in the downtown area, especially lovely. Couldn't agree more. And what's the significance of an installation? So we have Knox and Vespers tonight, and then yeah. tomorrow is the actual installation mass. Well, it's the moment when you really, you know, become the bishop of the diocese, and it's a formal acknowledgement uh, that you've received this mandate from Rome. Uh, so at the heart of the ceremony tomorrow, really, is the showing of the, the mandate from the Holy Father. And so it's the moment, and then you're, you're seated formally in the cathedra, in the chair, which is why this is called the cathedral of this church. Um, so it's the moment of, you know, where everything becomes official. And that's, I think, important for the people of God to see. And the mandate is by means of a letter from the Apostolic Nuncio? Yeah, which he will read an English translation of, but they'll, they'll actually have this beautifully, um, you know, in calligraphy in Latin uh, of the formal declaration from the Pope. And uh, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll walk all around the church showing it to people. It's a lovely custom, really, so that the, the local church says, we see what Rome has done, and then by their applause, they say, okay, we accept this. But it's, it's a kind of a lovely gesture that it's not just an imposition from above, but it's the people receiving uh, their bishop. So it's a, it's a lovely custom. Yeah, that's beautiful. And speaking of traditions and customs, is there one that you're particularly looking forward to? Well, a couple that I mentioned there, probably the walking around the cathedral with the, the bowl of, of, you know, the mandate. Uh, tonight, though, prior to this Vesper service, I'm going to stand right at the doors here and I'm going to knock three times on the door. Um, and it's the bishop really petitioning entry into his cathedral. Uh, and that's it always struck me as a very interesting little moment. And that's how the ceremony begins tonight. Great. Um, speaking of your Bishop Knox, I heard that you're using a hammer, but this is not your average hammer that you can find in a toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the custom among Catholics, I've discovered, is to use this little hammer. Uh, I know in, in the Anglican tradition, they'll often use the crozier, and they'll use the crozier to knock on the door. But it's interesting clarification. I don't really receive my crozier formally till tomorrow. When I'm seated in the chair, and I'm given the crozier, which symbolizes leadership. See, if I came here as a visiting bishop, I wouldn't use my crozier, because I'm not the bishop of the place. So tonight, before I officially become the bishop, I can't use the crozier. Hence, we use the little hammer. <laughs> Very cool. And... Will the twins and the Vikings steal your heart? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, as a little kid, I was a Detroit Tiger fan. So I remember when the Tigers played the twins, like when uh, Harmon Killebrew and Rod Carew and people like that were playing. Uh, but I'm really a Cub fan, so I'm a National League fan. Now, the last seven years, almost, I've been out in L.A. area, so the Dodgers became a focus. My mother, and this is a true story, saw a photo of me with a Dodgers cap on, and she didn't like it. And she wasn't joking at all. She did not like my wearing a Dodgers cap. So now I probably do have to make a change to the American League and to the Twins. Now, I don't like the Chicago White Sox, so I'll probably be happy to root for a team that's against the White Sox. <laughs> so that's my whole baseball story. Wonderful. Hopefully we can get you to that game. <laughs> and last question. Are you confident you can handle Minnesota winters? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Chicago, you know, so I grew up. My whole life dealing with bad winters and we're actually pretty far south in minnesota we're just you know just on top of iowa and just uh, what west of lacrosse so it's not really arctic minnesota i don't think but i'm used to that uh, i had the little hiatus for six years out in california but i'm a midwesterner by background so i think i can handle it the midwest is glad to have you back bishop good thank you <laughs>